and today I'm going to be reviewing this new package that I got and it is the eraser making kit I got no clue what it says over here but unless you know Japanese or Chinese I'm not sure what language this is I think so it's Japanese but I got this kit and here is this good packaging and I got this from Amazon and let's just start opening this package baby up Okay, and here is the box once I opened it. And let's just go what it says. I don't understand anything, but I see that there's supposed to be molds like these. And I did not expect it to be this tiny, by the way. Um, and there's this box. And I guess these clays. And you could make these things. But they look so big because they enlarged it for the photo on the box. And yeah, so let's just start on by opening this up actually to see what's in it. Okay, and I just opened the box and here are the materials. And it's like a plastic feeling. So let's just first look at the instruction. And you could probably, if you do not know Japanese or Chinese, number one, you have a computer probably um, or you can look at the pictures and follow it because a lot of people do tutorials in English obviously um, to explain if you don't know Japanese so here are all the steps that it shows just like that and basically tells you what to do oh and I also wanted to mention that in the instruction manual i just watched a video of how to do it and i wanted to make sure that i showed everything that is included and it includes this i just didn't know what it said so i wasn't sure i thought it was just like that but if you see this box it shows that it's wrapped around something here so it has this so you could do it for your eraser as well so that's a really cute thing to do all right let's look at what's in here so it comes with this clay, and this is to make the eraser, and this is the size of it. My hand is tiny, just so you guys know. And this is how big it is, because on camera it might look weird, but yeah. And then it comes with this yellow clay. And I think so they're all the same size. Doesn't come with much stuff here that I see, but here it comes with the pink the brown all of these colors and last but not least the clay molds now the clay molds you could probably reuse them which is great and i really love that but my one concern is that it's eight dollars this should have been in my opinion like five or four dollars i'm serious because number one is just four clay um boxes i don't know how to say it but then i have two molds and that's it so i don't think so that's really worth it for the price but if it was about five or four well actually five dollars and i would say it is but i got this from amazon so it's probably a different price on different websites and these are how they look they're blue and i showed you this before but this is where all these stuff came in and yeah but it would have been better, um, in my opinion, if they would have gave bigger clays. That's number one, minus. And number two, the price was expensive for this on Amazon. Maybe, like I said, on a different website, it's different. But overall, I think so, it's good. I'm going to try this out. And once I've got the end result, I'll show you guys how it looks. And I'll tell you guys how it went and basically my review of it all right so you're first going to start off getting a cotton ball and just wet it and just put it on the mold so it's not sticky after that's the reason why you have to do that and once you've done that just put the clay into the mold where the cookie shape is or whatever shape you want to do 
because it's the same exact technique. And just put them together, smush it at that part. Not really smush it, but just push hard on it. And then once you have your shape, get your excess off. And then you just have to take it off the mold and here's your cookie. And now you have to do the same exact thing. Just roll it up and put it on the mold of where the cookie thing is like we did before. And just take it. But I forgot to put the cotton ball with the wet water. So it wouldn't be sticky. That's why I had to do it. And now I'm pushing hard on it so it comes out. And here they are, both of the cookie shapes. And now we just have to take white clay and we have to do it ourselves, not with the mold. You just have to roll it up into a circle and then just put the cookie on top of the um, white circle shape because that's the cream. And yeah, that's just pretty self-explanatory. And here it is. Here's your final cookie shape. All right, now we're making the ice cream. So I'm just taking some brown clay and I'm putting it on this mold of the cone shape. And the same exact technique, you just put it on top of each other, both the molds, and push hard on it so it comes out. And it might take a few times to get your right shape so it has the lines, correct lines, and all that kind of things. There it is. And it might be hard to take out, but this was easy to thankfully and here it is and now we're going to have to make the cream so I'm going to have to take some of my white clay you don't have to use white or brown it's really your choice but I'm just cutting it up and I am going to first wet the molds so it's not sticky but here it is and now I'm just going to connect it. Oh my gosh, while I was doing these, um, the this actually has a scent, and I don't think so the other ones do. But I don't think it even says that this has a scent, and it tastes like, not taste, but I didn't taste it obviously, but it smells like strawberry or raspberry. It tastes, oh my God, it smells really good. And I really had a lot of trouble doing the ice cream, so it took me like an hour Maybe it's just me, but I did it like a million times and yeah. All right, so as I showed you the other two, how to actually do them, you would want to do the same exact thing to the other ones. Like this one, you basically have to do the same exact technique. Now I'm just rolling up my pink little balls, you could say just to put on top of these sundaes so it looks super cute and I'm just putting three of them. And my last one. Okay, now here is the Sunday. It's really super cute. And now I have to make my last final eraser. Just take brown and put it on top of here and then do it again. All right, so here are all my creations that I just made. And here is the sundae, the ice cream, the popsicle stick ice cream, the cookie, and the waffle. And there is some extra left. From actually doing this, it was a little bit frustrating. Actually, it took me an hour to do one ice cream, which I already told you guys about. But um, that is a little minus because it is a little bit annoying when you take it out of the mold. Now you want to put your creation into life into an eraser, so you're gonna have to put that in your box that I gave you with the kit. And then you're just gonna wanna take some cold water, which I just took it from a bottle because it was cold, and put it around where that triangle is, if you could see that. That's where I just put it around. And then I just put it into the microwave, two to three minutes, and I decided to put it for three minutes. And just wait until it's ready. And while you wait, you could just get some cold water ready in a cup. Now you want to take your box from the microwave and just spill all the hot water down and get your creation out. And then just take the cup of water that you got ready and put the creation in. 
And now just wait for it to dry for a few minutes and then you got your creation ready. All right guys, so I've showed you guys how to do it and I am now going to tell you guys my final thoughts about this. So my final ra uh, rate of this out of a five is a three out of five. This is because it's, it's called an eraser making kit when I searched it up. And it is an eraser making kit. But does it erase? I tried. And this is what happened. Everything turned black. If you could see these marks. I just started erasing and it turned all black. It got really dirty at first and it was just super ugly. And basically what I don't like about it is that it gets dirty really quick. And I also don't find the point of why, how is this even an eraser and it's supposed to be a cute charm, but if you erase it, it gets all dark, especially if you use this type of light colors, it's going to get black, totally black. So it's a black Sunday, and it's just going to look all ugly and disgusting. So I would not recommend you getting this if you are planning to use this as an eraser. If you just want it for charms, then yeah, go ahead, but I won't. I don't really suggest you guys getting this because it's not an eraser as it states it is and the price is super expensive just for this it's not worth it for eight dollars it's worth it for five or even less so they should do something to improve that to maybe make it um not dark or maybe just not even sell this and just say that it's clay charms that would be a better reason for this if this was um a product clay for clay charms or something like that then I would understand that and I would give this a 4 out of 5 or a 5 out of 5. But this to me now is a 3 out of 5. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you guys want more reviews like these. Subscribe for more. And comment down below your rate of what you would give this from using it before or from this video. What do you think? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? What do you give it? I don't know. Leave it all your, all your opinions in the comments down below. See you guys in the next video. Bye!